Ah, boredom. It either makes people not do anything, or it makes them do things they would never do otherwise. So as I was laying on my bed, not doing anything, I decided it was time to do something I'd never done before. I was going to run a marathon. No, cut. Not quite like that. I don't really have time to train and I'm gonna do it alone. You know, I'm having second thoughts about it. I had carefully planned a route along the streets of our small town. But I wasn't in the mood for plans. So I decided to just run along the shoreline as long as I could. I am currently mentally preparing for what's to come. Everybody's telling me I shouldn't actually do this, but the more they keep telling me I shouldn't, the more I actually want to do it. But I'm gonna do this. I'm gonna say my last goodbyes now and then, then I'm off. started the journey into myself. It's kind of late and I hope that it won't get too dark too soon. But I believe in myself and I can do this. I have water, I have a phone, I have a GPS, I have music and I have my legs. That'll be enough for now. No, friends. Okay, thank God. I passed over to the other side of this thing. And it's not windy here anymore. And I hope the storm won't blow me away. There's a lot of sheep here though. Oh, I don't feel so alone anymore. Well, mad to you too. Hi, friends. Okay, so here's the thing. It's starting to get really windy and I only have this jacket and a t-shirt under it. And because I don't want to get sick, I'll start heading homewards. But I'll probably go into town to run for a bit because I don't want to give up yet. But honestly, I don't know if I can make the whole 42 kilometers. But I'll try, I'll give it my best. At this point, I had run about 15 kilometers, and I started to be a bit exhausted. I was ready to give up because the wind was honestly the worst. It was blowing through my every bone and I hated it. But I had to keep on going. So stormy. 
I can feel the air going through my entire body, pushing itself through my lungs. I, I, I can't keep on running tonight. The problem is, I have to if I want to make it home. I had reached my lowest point. I sat there, escaping the storm and thinking about what I'd gotten myself into, and why. But I had no choice anymore. Sitting around and waiting for nothing would only make it worse. I kept going. Almost made it home. Everything hurts, but I feel like I could keep on going for another 20 kilometers. I probably couldn't, but I feel like it. Oh, but I'm also dying. In the end, I only ran a half marathon. But that didn't matter. I was happy with myself. I learned that it's okay to give up sometimes, as long as you try and give it your best. It's okay to not succeed the first time, as long as you feel like you've accomplished something. What doesn't kill you makes you stronger, and stay in school, kids. <laughs>